Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to this program. I am glad you are uh, here. To, so we are going to discuss about today about uh, Ahmed Didat, Sheikh Ahmed Didat, and Doctor Nike, 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 Didat and Nike. These are the two famous Muslims who attack the Bible whenever they want, they attack it. Whenever they want, they just adore it, they love it, they, you know, say, well, our Muhammad in the Bible, our prophet in the Bible, uh, they say all that, and they just, you know, adore the Bible, is the best book for Muhammad, did that? Is the best book for uh, Zach Nike and uh, Zach Kirnaik and others, and when they are not, when it explicitly um, tells us about the bad nature of their prophet, they uh, just blow it up. Let us listen from this old man, uh, Ahmed Didat, Sheikh Ahmed Didat. Let us listen and uh, watch today. Chapter 38, read, verse 15 or so onwards. Judah, the father of the Jewish race, he goes and commits incest with his daughter-in-law by the roadside and begets bastard children from her. This is the Holy Bible! Not only that, but Allah himself to Ibrahim's wife, Sarah. This is a Bible, Judah. He went to his uh, son's wife because his son died and uh, she was uh, widowed and he went to her and had sex with her. That is, is that the Holy Bible? How come you call it Holy Bible? How dare you call that book a Holy Bible? A Holy Bible. <laughs> doctor, I mean, not doctor, he's a cowboy. Um, Ahmed did that, Sheikh Ahmed did that. He got his prize. Okay, now, let us, uh, previously, yesterday, I proved that Lord, God did not approve his daughter, he la uh, laid with daughter, and then he got two sons, uh, Moab and, uh, uh, uh Amon, and then that was a cursed generation. And the Lord God said, until the forever, forever, an Ammonite and a Moabite, a bastard, will not come into my house. That was the consequence, and that was a bad side. You guys can listen and learn from there. But today, uh, the, the question is, was it approved by God or not? Is God involved in that? Does God appreciate that? Did God appreciate that? Did God mandate that? Did God say, go ahead, like Muhammad, when he lay with his son's wife, uh, Zainab, uh, he say, uh, okay, he, he did everything to, uh, you know, make it uh, possible for Muhammad. When Muhammad was say, no, I'm not to say, keep your wife, what did Allah say? No, you hypocrite, take her. He finished, he has enough of her. Uh, uh, that's uh, Zaid, Zaid, enough of her. Now you can go and sleep to her, enjoy her. And then, uh, you know, uh, when Zaid was trying to sleep with her, uh, you know, what happened? <laughs> uh, brother Christian priest can give you that one. <laughs> well, anyway, let us uh, hear that from the Bible what, uh, whether God approved that or God did something to expose uh, Judah. Judah. Uh, uh, okay. Still okay. On ground. And at that time, Genesis chapter 38. Listen. And at that time, Judah. Please, please listen. And carefully, uh, whether what was the hand of God there? Did God approve it? Uh, did God support it? Did God, what was? Was it against the nature of God, against the commandment of God? What happened? Please carefully listen or read the Bible and learn yourself. Uh, for I'm going to explain to uh, after that. Please listen. Down from his brothers and turned into a certain Adulamite whose name was Hira. And Judah saw there a daughter of a certain Canaanite, whose name was Shua. And he took her and went in to her, and she conceived and bore a son, and he called his name Ur. And she conceived again and bore a son, and she called his name Onan. And she yet conceived and bore a son, and she called his name Shelah. And she was at Shezeb when she bore him. And Judah took a wife for Ur, his firstborn, whose name was Tamar. And Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord killed him. And Judah said to Onan, Go in unto your brother's wife and marry her and raise up seed to your brother. And Onan knew that the seed would not be his. And it came to pass when he went into his brother's wife that he spilled on the ground, lest he should give seed to his brother. And the thing which he did was evil in the eyes of the Lord. 
and therefore he killed him also. Then said Judah to Tamar, his daughter-in-law, Remain a widow at your father's house until Shelah, my son, is grown. For he said, Lest perhaps he die also as his brothers did. And Tamar went and lived in her father's house. And as many days went by, Judah's wife, the daughter of Shua, died. And Judah was comforted and went up to his sheep shear to Timnath, he and his friend Hira, the Adalamite. And it was told to Tamar, saying, Behold, your father-in-law goes up to Timnath to shear his sheep. And she put off her widow's clothes and covered herself with a veil and wrapped herself. And she sat in an open place, which is by the way to Timnath. And she saw that Shelah was grown, and she was not given to him as wife. And when Judah saw her, he thought she was a harlot, because she had covered her face. And he turned aside to her by the wayside, and said, Come, I pray you, let me come in unto you. For he did not know that she was his daughter-in-law. And she said, What will you give me, so that you may come in unto me? And he said, I will send a kid from the flock. And she said, Will you give me a pledge until you send it? And he said, What pledge shall I give you? And she said, Your signet and your bracelet, and your staff that is in your hand. And he gave it to her, and came in unto her, and she conceived by him. And she arose, and went away, and laid away her veil from her, and put on the clothes of her widowhood. And Judah sent the kid by the hand of his friend, the Adulamite, to receive his pledge from the woman's hand, but he could not find her. Then he asked the man of the place, saying, Where is the harlot who was openly by the wayside? And they said, There was no harlot here. And he returned to Judah and said, I cannot find her. And also the men of the place said, There was no harlot here. And Judah said, Let her take it to her, lest we be ashamed. Behold, I sent this kid, and you have not found her. And it came to pass after three months afterward that it was told Judah, saying, Your daughter-in-law Tamar has played the harlot, and also, behold, she is with child by whoredom. And Judah said, Bring her forth, and let her be burned. And when she was brought forth, she sent to her father-in-law, saying, I am with child by the man whose things these are. And she said, I pray you, observe whose things are these, the signet and bracelets and staff. And Judah acknowledged them and said, She has been more righteous than I have, because I did not give Shelah my son to her. And he never knew her again. And in the time of her travail, behold, twins were in her womb. All right. Um, you can go and listen everything. Uh, so what does this teach us? What did God did? Um so we learned that God was not happy at all. He exposed this man called um, uh, Judah. Judah, Judah, according to the, the, the commandment of God, he should have given her the son, her son. Because if the son, the first one dies, the second one has to marry the same uh, so that he can, uh, you know, uh, have a, a generation or, or, or a seed for the dead one. For remembrance of the dead. That's a biblical, no? But he didn't do that. Oh, this is a very bad woman. She is not, uh, she's not like you one. I am not going to, she's just gonna kill my son. So I'm not going to give her. So he broke first the commandment of God. But, you know, he, he broke the commandment of God. And she was super smart. And then his, when his wife died, there was no another woman there. So he went to two harlots. And she heard that because he didn't give her uh, his son. And she uh, had the burqa, the burqa or <laughs> the Muslim clothes before Muhammad did it. She was very smart. She had the burqa and covered her face and everything and sat down. Judah didn't know that she was his um, his uh, daughter-in-law. And then he said, oh, may I sleep with you? Okay, you can sleep, but you have to give me a pledge. You have to give me something. Okay, what? Your signet, your staff, your everything. Give me and you can sleep with me. <laughs> how smart, how super smart was he? Again, this big man named Judah. <laughs> and then he went and slept and then uh, she kept. And then he sent uh, his friend, go and uh, get uh, my staff, my signet, my st uh, everything, and give her her dough because, you know, uh, I, had, I slept with her and she was not there. Nobody can. Harlot, where is the harlot? Where is the harlot? No, no, no. She wasn't there. And uh, on the process of time, Judah heard his daughter-in-law had a child. He didn't give her to marry. It was like the prophet Muhammad. <laughs> he didn't give her to marry. And now she just, you know, uh, has become a child. And she said, bring her. Bring her, let her burn. Look, look what did he say. 
And it came to pass about three months after that it was told to Judah, saying, Tamar, thy daughter-in-law has played the harlot. She became harlot. And also, behold, she is with a child by whom? By whoredom. And Judah said, Bring her forth and let her be burned. Wow, like a prophet man. <laughs> this man is, God is going to humiliate him. God is going to humiliate him. You see? Bring her and let her burn. And when she was proud for, she sent to her father-in-law, saying, By the man whose these are, I am with child. And she said, Discern, I pray thee, whose are these? The signet, the bracelet, and the stuff. And Judah <laughs> acknowledged them and said, She has been more righteous than I am. She just is righteous. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not a good man. I'm not a good man. I didn't follow the commandment of God. Now I'm punished. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did he say? He acknowledged them and she has been, he said, she has been more righteous than I. Because that I give her not to Shela, my son, and knew, he knew her again no more. He didn't, he didn't know after all. This man didn't know because he went to look for a woman and she deceived him. She put on the barqa, the, <laughs> the hijab, the hijab, like the Muslims deceived that way, you know. The hijab love Afghan women, they just like, <laughs> and then he couldn't know. And she played him. She caught him. So is that according to God? Or he was humiliated? Was he humiliated? He said, I'm not righteous. She's more just a person than I am. I'm not a good person. I'm the worst. That's what the language is. Because God humiliated him. God is like a father. You know, the, the father say, don't do it. Don't do it. If you do that, a good father, what he don't do? He's going to punish you. He's going to punish you. He's going to humiliate you. The son. God is like that. Why? He didn't respect God's commandment. But still, God is a father. He's not going to throw out, uh, burn his son into hell. But he showed us that he humiliated this man. Because this man was very, very much humiliated in front of his people. It's not like, bring her, let's burn. And they went to, a lot of people went. And were they going to burn her in front of, you know, uh, the people, the whole land. All right, Judah. Yeah, this is, this are, whose signet, whose bracelet, whose stuff is this? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shame on me. Shame on me. Shame on me. Shame on me. That's the punishment of God. God humiliated this man because he didn't obey the commandment of God. It's not. So compare this one to Muhammad who knowingly went and slept and uh, took his, his son's wife. The, the son was not dead. This one was dead even. And he didn't know when he went to her. But Muhammad, the, Allah, you know, uh, kicked his heart to jump before because of joy. You know, and then he say, well, go and sleep. I gave you. That is a God of Islam. The God of God, the God of Israel, he humiliated this man. That's what I am not. She is more righteous than I. I'm not. I'm not. Don't consider me a good man. That's what. She is better than me. She's the best one compared to me. That's what he said. You see? Did Muhammad did not know this? No. Did uh, the Nike, Dr. Zakir Nike know this? No. This. They don't know anything. But God is just. God is great. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Share, like, subscribe. Uh, and uh, invite friends. Uh, thank you for watching. And may the Lord richly bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.